Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the second part of my Little Stone World pre alpha review. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the build mode that is in the new game Little Stone World. If you didn't watch the first video, uh, you can watch that a little bit later. You don't necessarily need to watch them in order. I will leave it up here or in the description if you want to check that out as well. Also, I just want to say thank you to everyone who watched that video because I'm so surprised at how well it did. So thank you for that. And let's go ahead and get into the build mode. All right, so here we are in the game of Little Stone World. So I believe the only thing we can do in this game right now is build mode. We click this little hammer. This is the build mode. I've already looked at this because I wanted to decide how I wanted to do this video. So I've already taken a look at this. I already built something small and demolished it. We have a lot of options. So here's like what the walls look like. Lots of different options. It looks like you can make tons of different styles of houses with these. I'm just gonna make a really simple house. So I'm just gonna show you through the catalog really quickly and then we'll get into the build. Here are the wallpapers, not too many. There's a few outside ones and then some wallpapers for inside, very cute. Here is the flooring. We also have grass that we can place outside. Very nice, I like that. Since the entirety of the outside is you know, concrete. I like that we have like a grass option. Here are the doors, not very many, but they are cute. I really like them. I like how squishy they look because the game is kind of, the game is kind of chibi. So I think it's really cute. Here are the fences. I think this one is my favorite, the like picket fence. So it looks like we have four fence options and four gates. I like it. And then this looks like a mailbox or something and then a trash can. So now that we've taken a look at this, we're going to go ahead and hop into me building. All right guys, so this is my first time of me building this house. I'm not gonna lie though, learning to build in a new game is really finicky. <laughs> I had to keep breaking down the walls to get the sizing right, especially because I don't know how big everything is in this game yet. I do have to say though, I am already in love with this game and I'm gonna spend such an unhealthy amount of time playing it when it fully releases. <laughs> I'm already so excited for the new objects to be added. The graphics are just so, so cute. I cannot get over them. Considering how much I like this demo and it's only character creation and building, I know for a fact that the gameplay is going to be amazing. Just imagine going to the grocery store in this game. Oh my God, and the cafe. I, can't, I hope my little Sim can hang out at the cafe and drink coffee. That would be peak gameplay for me. Like genuinely, I love coffee so much. I feel like the color palettes in this game are like top tier. I'm so excited that I've been finding so many more cute cozy games like this one. After watching all the reviews of on Little Sim World, if it made you consider buying it just even a little bit, I'm just saying, do it. Like this game is the cutest and if you like life simulation games, which I'm assuming you do since you're on this channel, you're definitely going to love this one as much as I do. And honestly, it probably won't even end up being that expensive. This kind of game, it kind of reminds me of Stardew Valley. So I can't see this game being more than 15 to $20. Just absolutely the cutest. Like I'm recommending this 100%. All right, so the building part is pretty much done. So let's get back to the video. All right, so this is the house that I made. Um, I really love the color palettes in this game. It's still like very pastel and like muted colors. And I really, really love that. So this is just a simple little house that I made. I did end up having to make the bathroom the same width as the bedroom over here because I wanted the windows to be a little bit symmetrical because I just think it looked better with the two than just the one. So right here is gonna be my bathroom. This will be the bedroom. And then this is just the main living space. Something that to note is that the walls are a little finicky. Coming from playing, you know, The Sims, it's a little bit different to place the walls. You might have seen that I was trying to replace the front walls over and over again because I wanted them to all be connected properly. I gave a nice big front yard. I really like that because I'm going to put a whole bunch of plants in here. You better believe it. So here's the front door. I don't know if doors can actually go in the to separate rooms in the house. So I just bro like broke the wall down right there. Hopefully she'll be able to fit through there. And now we can get into the decorating part. So I actually noticed that 
this button right here this is the build mode if you were like talking in like the sims terms this is the build mode and then this would be buy mode so this is like the decorations for the house so i w we were in here this is the whole section i'm still learning the catalog i just figured this out today that this is the build and this is like the buy so yeah we can go ahead and go through the decorations in the game and then I can get to decorating. So this first section right here is like kitchen appliances and like other household things. So we have like stoves, fridges, sinks, TVs, computers. I think this is even a washing machine and I love that. The next section is wardrobes. We only have four right now. I really like this first one though. So I think I'm gonna use that one. The next section is like surfaces. So tables, counters, islands, things like that. I really love this. There's a lot of selection, a lot of sets. I love that things come in sets with this game. Next is comfort. So uh, think like beds, chairs, couches. I really love this bed. There's not too much of a selection right now. We have one couch, four different chairs and four different beds, but I really like what we have. I think they're really cute. Next is like bathroom plumbing type thing. So we have the sinks, the tubs, showers, toilets. And everything comes in like a set so we have like this is a set right here this looks like the most expensive one and i really like it this right here is a set this is a set these four and then this one is like the worst set like the run down bathroom set which i think is so cute that we have like worn appliances that we can put into our houses we can make pretty old abandoned houses and things like that i think it's really cute this next section is lighting so we have a whole bunch of outdoor lights i really like them very cute they only come in black though i want like silver swatches and things like that i feel like that would be nice too there's a whole bunch of lamps we have even the, like little crystal ball things and this little like tray with candles on it i love this i'm going to use this all the time a lava lamp love that there's a big selection of lamps i really like the lighting options that we have next is plants now there are all also a whole bunch of plants i love all of these i'm going to use them everywhere and we even have like a little faucet thing to put outside so that we can water our plants i really like that a lot the last section is mailboxes we only have four mailboxes but they're pretty cute i like them a lot all right and i'm just gonna go ahead and get into the, to the decorating of the house hello i'm back again uh, for the second time lapse of this video and trust me i can hear you already if you think you'd rather watch me decorate this house in real time no you wouldn't let me tell you i am a slow builder in the sims you do not want to watch me decorating this house at a snail's pace for 12 minutes in this video i think it's just because i'm still getting to know the controls and the grid in this game but i'm getting the hang of it for example i was being a dummy and i couldn't figure out how to rotate doors so i just assumed that you couldn't put doors inside of the houses after watching both Plumbella and Vixella's reviews, I realized you can, in fact, rotate doors and put them inside the house. Uh, please, just for the remainder of the video, ignore my interior walls. I promise, in the next Little Sim World video, my house will indeed have interior doors. So, while I was decorating, I noticed that the there aren't actually any rugs in the game yet. I know that this is just a pre-alpha, so I'm sure they'll add, they'll be added, but it just felt weird to not have a rug to go under the bed in the bedroom. I would like to happily report, though, that everything in this game comes in a matching wood swatch, which is something we cannot say the same for in The Sims 4. Uh, but I'm not here to compare. Both games can live side by side in harmony, in my opinion. But like I said before, I cannot wait for them to add more objects into this game. There are a ton of small plants in the game, but only two tall ones. And I would like to have a lot more tall floor plants to clutter my house with, please. <laughs> and if you've seen my Sims 4 speed builds, then you know how much I love cluttering with plants. Something I would also like to see, although I don't think they would add this into the game, is the ability to place items off of the grid, kind of like alt placing in The Sims. I just struggled a bit in my front yard trying to get the bushes to sit right. The spacing was just a little bit off because of how my house was shaped. After watching both Jesse and Sasha's videos, which I did after recording this, just so I wouldn't subconsciously copy what they did, I realized that I made my house kind of on the smaller side. They actually made really big houses. Sasha fit in a whole dining room into her house, and I barely have a living space. And that also makes me wonder if this is going to be the only lot that we're going to have to build on in this game, or if there'll be more, kind of like Manage Worlds and The Sims. It would be really cool if we had like multiple houses that we could own, or maybe we could own a business and we can build on that lot. I feel like 
having multiple places to build in the world would be really, really cool. Like if you could own your own business, I would absolutely love that. Maybe that would be something that they could add to the game later on. That would be really a really cool gameplay update. Anyways, I'm pretty much just finishing up the front yard. The entire rest of the house is done. I'm just placing plants all over the place because I love them. I think they are adorable. And I will get back to the review. Okay, and I think that is everything. My house is completely furnished. And I want to see how functional this house actually is because you saw I was moving stuff around constantly. I couldn't figure out how to get things to fit. So hopefully this will be functional. Also, this whole time, I forgot to mention, I might have said it in, this, in the voiceovers, but I don't know. In order to move in this game, like move around the screen or anything like that, you have to use the arrow keys. And that's how I was moving around the screen to get back and forth from the house. You can also, in build mode, you can use like edge scrolling. So look at my little character. Look how the gate moves. This is so cute. I love this little flower box. The like purple and pink flowers are so cute. Now, the, I just found out that the mailbox has, has to go on the wall, so my house is a little bit lopsided. I tried to make it as symmetrical as possible, but it did end up being lopsided. But can we just talk about for a second the cars going by? Just saying. Just saying. All right. So we walk into the house. I love it's like it's like a wooden door, but it's a sliding door. It's really funny. Okay. So we walk in. I put a little TV. I say a little TV. This is a huge TV. Put a TV here and it doesn't look like we can sit on the couch. Hopefully eventually we can sit on the couch. I don't know how how much that matters, but I think that would be cute. I don't think we can really use anything right now. This is just like the building demo. But let me see. Can we walk through here? We can. Okay. And everything seems to be a you should be able to get to it and I put plants everywhere that I could I definitely did not know how big I needed to make this and now I know for future reference all right so it looks like this whole house is functional that is all for my little sim world reviews if you guys want to see a let's play of this game when it comes out maybe I'll continue the review series of the pre alphas as they roll them out I'm gonna leave that here Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video, comment down below, let me know if you want to see this again, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!